Hey guys, Meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Sunday afternoon mountain weather update. Let's go to Telluride down in southwest Colorado where the snow is coming down. I do expect the snow to continue and even intensify over parts of the mountains in Colorado tonight, throughout the morning hours tomorrow before the whole storm moves to the south and to southern Colorado and New Mexico. But again, that's Telluride. All right, here's radar out of Colorado. Certainly more blue now showing up over the mountains than what we were seeing this morning. So that's our storm system. You can almost see the circulation over western Colorado. Um, even up in Wyoming, there's a little bit of leftover snow. I'm not expecting much additional accumulations, just some light additional accumulations over the Wind Rivers and parts of uh, the Tetons. Everything is kind of shifting down into Colorado um, at this point. Uh, I want to show you a... Um, a camera shot that uh, one of my viewers, Rod Sellers, sent here. And Rod, thanks for sending the, this in. This is from Sun Peaks. Lucky enough to capture in the live cam the two deer. Uh, they're kind of walking through that, that fresh snow there at Sun Peaks up in BC. So Rod, thanks for sending that in. I uh, really appreciate it. Let me show you what it looks like right now up in uh, up at Sun Peaks. And look at that sky. Isn't that beautiful? That cumulus up there and, and just the, the fresh snow, the new snow up there. You can see it in the parking lot. There's the village area. So looking good. They've got it at uh, minus three Celsius up there. That's at uh, the top of the world at 2,000 meters. Mid-mountain minus three. Valley plus two Celsius. Kind of interesting. Look at that stuff. All right. So here we go. This is water vapor satellite imagery. Um, so on this, your moisture loft is in your whites and your blues, and you can see the area of low pressure right here. So slowly drifting down through Colorado and eventually New Mexico and then away after 11.4. Behind it, cold front up here will hit the Pacific Northwest around 11.4, 11.5, 11.6 through the Inner Mountain. Kind of takes the same trajectory as that low. But what's interesting is on the back side of it, there's going to be some energy that spins up over the four corners. That becomes our major player, a major low. So while we get snow out of the low in the cold front, that third storm system, that low that redevelops over the four corners, will come back through New Mexico and Colorado with another round of heavy snow. So I've still got big totals in my forecast for many of those places. And then potentially another cold front for 11, 11, 12, and 13. So we'll look at all that in my bullet points here this afternoon. Really hasn't changed since this morning. Storm system today, tomorrow, Colorado, New Mexico. Cold front 11, 5, 11, 6 for the Inner Mountain West, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. Turns into a cutoff low over parts of Colorado, New Mexico, 11, 7, 8, and 9. Looks major. And then a cold front comes in from Canada through the Inner Mountain, 11, 11, 12, maybe even um, November 13th. All right, so let me take you into the forecast radar and satellite so that's your portrayal by 11 that's your setup by a by this afternoon at 5 30. you've got snow over colorado snow over northern new mexico some leftover light snows through parts of wyoming by monday morning snow is still there over colorado it has intensified in southern colorado northern new mexico the low moves away here comes our cold front this is going to be all snowfall uh, it's going to be much colder with snow down on the valley floors with this BC, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, brushing Utah, but squarely moving into Colorado. So here we are. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. Let me take you back to the start of this again. I wanted to, so this is again 5.30 this afternoon. As far as Denver goes in I-25, I do expect some rain showers tonight for Denver, but it's going to change over to snowfall after midnight tonight into tomorrow morning, Monday morning. So let me just go into Monday morning again. There's Monday morning. So in Denver, maybe an inch or less of accumulation. If you're above 6,000 feet, so south and west of Denver in the suburbs, you're going to pick up more than that. You're above 6,000, you could pick up one, two, three, four inches, maybe even more as you go up into the foothills. So just keep that in mind. So a little, a touch of snow for Denver on the way early tomorrow morning. I just wanted to make sure I got that in. All right, here comes that cold front. There it is. So by 11.5, there's your snow. That's 11.6. Most of the emphasis on 11.6 is in Colorado, and this would be another round of snow for all of Denver, the Front Range, the Eastern Plains. Everybody gets in on this one between late Tuesday and Wednesday. 
probably going to see two, three, four, five inches of snow across Denver, the metro area. Um, and this snow would likely continue into Thursday. So there's Wednesday night. There's Thursday morning. The low now is starting to develop over the four corners. Heavy snow in southern Colorado. Snow across the eastern plains of Colorado and New Mexico. There it is. Here comes the low back to the north. So here comes our next, our secondary shot of snow for a lot of Colorado and maybe even the Denver area. This is showing being right on the line, maybe a rain-snow mix, um, but we'll see. And then it goes back to all snow there by Saturday early morning, and then the low finally moves away. Here comes the next cold front and see some of the energy diving out of Canada, 11-11, 11-12, um, and 11, uh, late 11-12 and 11-13. So we've definitely got action. Here's my latest, uh, here are my latest forecast numbers. Rest of today through tomorrow, most of what we see is going to be in Colorado and northern New Mexico and up in BC. Um, potentially quite a bit down there in Tahoe, Ski, Santa Fe, up to Cuchara. All right, let me take you into the next time period. So this is 11.5 through 11.12. Still looking at that big bullseye anywhere in pink purple is over a foot. That's northern New Mexico, southern Colorado, right on the Continental Divide, the Sand Grays, the Front Range High Peaks of Colorado. I'll zoom in on some of those numbers in a second. But uh, I bumped the numbers up for the Tetons and Big Sky to a foot or more. Um, I'm also looking at potentially um, a foot up there in the parts of BC, maybe a foot or two up in the Pacific Northwest over the high cascades, the volcanoes, and Whistler. Okay, again, that's 11.5 through 11.12. Let me show you what that map looks like zoomed in to southern Colorado. If this plays out, uh, as I just showed you, we're looking at potentially one, two, maybe even three feet of snow over the top of the San Juan Mountains. Maybe even snow down into Durango, Bayfield, Del Norte. We could be looking at heavy snow accumulation because of how cold it's going to be. Again, this it's an early snapshot. These numbers are likely to change. Let me take you a little bit further north in Colorado, 11.5 to 11.12. If things play out, this is how it would likely look. Um, about a foot or more, potentially, one to two feet, over a lot of I-70 up, banked right up on the Continental Divide, um, through Loveland and Keystone, A Basin, Water Park, Breck, Summit County, Copper Vale, uh, the Gore Range. Again, long way out, but I just wanted to show you a zoom of what this map essentially shows. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great night.